Mom, you said he'd be here. Well, he'll be here. Relax, will you? <laughs> How can we relax when everything depends on him? You don't think he's forgotten, do you? What if he's had an accident? Don't be mad. Of course he hasn't forgotten. And he won't have had an accident. This is my brother, remember? Accident is his middle name. I was carrying a CD. You see where it went? Oh, never mind. It's, it's got to be here somewhere. Here. What's that for? Call him. Find out where he is. And tell him he's got 12 minutes to get here, otherwise he's dead. Otherwise we're dead. Don't you trust him? No. I just don't understand why he didn't bring a backup disc. Oh, because you said we didn't need one. I said... When did I say that? When I told you Josh was dubbing a new one. For better sound quality. I meant that if Josh was doing that, we wouldn't need the original. Not that you shouldn't bring a backup. Guys, can we save the discussions till later? Emma, just call him. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. Go on, walk the line. Because Listening. Hi, Josh. It's Emma. Where are you? We're about to go on. Oh, hi, Emma. More problem, huh? Problem? What sort of problem? What's happening? Are you going to be here or not? Josh, just speak to me. What's going on? Everything's fine. Don't worry. I'll be there soon. Soon? How soon? Josh, where exactly are you? Arab Street. Gotta go. Bye. Uh, uh, Arab Street? Arab Street? It's 20 minutes away. There's no way he'll make it on time. Great. A, a whole term's work. Down the drain. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Excuse me. Hello. I dropped something and it, it landed on your baby. I, actually, I don't mean on your baby, more like beside it. See, here it is. Thanks, little one. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We have a short little ball of ten minutes for the second half of the concert. Back here there. Come on, guys. We're not dead yet. What's the matter with you three? You look as if you're going to a funeral. Not that I blame you. I'd be nervous too if I had to come on after us. We're not nervous. Anyone here nervous? Oh, that's good. Not that you need to worry. The audience will still applaud, no matter how many mistakes you make. Chelsea, shouldn't you be somewhere else? Like? Like anywhere away from here? You're right. Come on, girls. Time to let our adoring parents tell us how brilliant we were. She is a seriously bad dream, which is about to become a nightmare, thanks to you and Josh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> Michelle. Tell her what? That we can't go on, obviously. She'll have to change the whole program. So unfair. We've worked all year for this and... What? It's our last chance to dance together. I know, but it's not gonna happen, is it? We have to tell her. Nice routine. Okay, I'll see you. Good job. It's my fault, so I'll tell her. I know it's like notice, Michelle. Late notice. You're supposed to be the next act on. I'm sorry. It's just that we thought that. I mean, I thought. Okay, never mind. Explanations won't help now. The question is, what are we going to do about it? Here you go, guys. One music download, mint condition. Hello. Josh to Earth. Do you want this or not? You're too late. Too late? We had to ask Michelle to cancel us. But that's... Oh, she can't do that. She already has. 
Listen carefully, you're about to hear it made official. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you could please note that instead of the Shadu item, we'll be starting the second half of our concert with the Asian Lion Dance. Please give them a big welcome. Hey! Josh, I knew you'd make it. I'm sorry, I got here as quick as I could. How am I going to explain this to Mum? She brought half the apartment block to see us. Listen, honestly, I... Josh, this is one seriously dumb idea. We should probably just pack up and go. Would you both just shut up for two seconds? I talked to Michelle, and she said that if the music did turn up, we could go and last before the finale. You're kidding. Why didn't you just say so? I just did. <laughs> this new download, it better be worth it. You love it. Trust me. Get a pie, swoop down low. There ain't no place you can go. Inside, outside, round the foul. Now let's hear you shout it out. Yeah. Come on, let's go, take a chance. Don't be so shy, it's not worth it. who have contributed to yesterday's inter-school concert. What a wonderful way to end the year. Although, we could have done without the last-minute rescheduling. <laughs> and that, of course, reminds us that, sadly, we have to say goodbye to a couple of people heading back to their home countries. Emma, we hope that after your year in Singapore, you have no trouble coping with the German winters again. <laughs> I'll miss you all so much, and I hope that everyone here will come to Hamburg and build the world's biggest snowman with me. And Ellie, don't forget us when you're back in Australia running all those horses we've heard so much about. No way, I'll forget you guys. And remember, there's free horse riding lessons for anyone brave enough to come down and give it a go. Passes and an A in geography. That should get me a few credit points with the parents. How'd you guys go? An A in German. Oh, why am I not surprised? Four Bs and the rest passed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brainbox, tell us what you got. Four A's and the rest Bs. Only four A's. How pathetic is that? Your parents will probably shoot you. At the very least, kick you out of the house. Come on, Jackie, you can't seriously be miserable about four A's. If you're not top of the class, then you're probably so close, it doesn't even matter. My results are fine, okay? Well, what's the problem? You two are such idiots. Don't you know what today is? Have we missed someone's birthday? Not that I can think of. This is it. One whole year and suddenly it's all finished. Tomorrow morning, you go back to Australia, you're off to Germany and I'll be here. Who knows when we'll see each other again? If we see each other. Have neither of you thought about that? Of course we've thought about it. It's the only thing we've been thinking about for the past month. Just don't want to talk about it in case we started blobbering. Which I'm about to do if you keep on about it. I'm sorry. I just thought... We'd walk away, say goodbye, Jack. It'd be nice knowing you. As if nothing mattered? No, but so much of a farewell, is it? Standing at the school gates, waving each other off. Which is why we've organised a big farewell. <laughs> We're all having dinner. Our last chilli crab together. And tofu. I've got to have my tofu. She's got to have her tofu. You rats, why didn't you tell me? Oh, well, it wouldn't have been much of a surprise then, would it? Clark Key, six o'clock, all right? <laughs> See you then, you big goose. Don't say goodbye. What is it with Jackie's family? Yesterday was her brother, now she's the one who's late. What time do you make it? Two minutes after the last time you asked me. I think I'll call her. 
You'll be wasting your money. Why? She's here. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm late. Of all the times to be late, I had to be this one. We're beginning to think your family's been hit by the lateness bug or something. Only one of us, actually. Josh kept me waiting. Again? Why does he keep torturing us like this? He doesn't torture us. Your opinion doesn't count. We all know you're hot for him. That has got nothing to do with... Who said I'm hot for him? Your eyes say it. Every time he walks into the room, they go all big and round. And these giant pink letters appear saying, Love. That's <laughs> rubbish. Mine's do nothing of the sort. And anyway... Go on, Emma. We're listening. When I die, Ali Henson, I'm going to come back as a ghost and haunt you forever. <laughs> anyway, what did Romeo... Oh, I mean Josh. Keep us waiting for this time. Well, he's made us all a present. That is so sweet. Oh, I bet you it's a lock of his hair and a picture of himself for Emma. And you a headache pill for being so painful. Actually, it's something much more practical. Hmm. Cool. I think. What's the idea? Well, you know how Josh is into all this high-tech stuff? Yeah, he's so good, he's scary. Well, he's found this program that can let us have our very own chat room. We can access it from anywhere in the world and we don't even need the internet. Awesome. Everything we need is on these USB sticks. We just plug them into our computers and then we can talk to each other 24-7. Fantastic. Well, what about security? That's the really clever part. Once we've set it up, the only way into the chat room is by using our headphones. I've texted you both a four-digit code. All you have to do is punch it in whenever you want to go in the chat room. But what happens if someone else punches in the same number? Nothing. The USB sticks become locked to the digital fingerprints of our handphones and only our handphones. Wow. I instantly take back anything bad I ever said about Josh. This is some present. Our own personal chat room. <laughs> so, when do we start it? Well, today's the 17th. So I was thinking the 20th, next Saturday? It's me. Um, what time? 6 p.m. Australia is 4 p.m. sing time. Which is 9 a.m. in Germany. That suit everyone? Fine by me. And me. So, to the chat room. <laughs> the, the chat, chat room! room. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, let's eat. Mm. Welcome back. Hey, Nicholas. Nice to see you. Is this a quick visit or what? Nope, I'm back for good. There's no escaping me now. <laughs> Fantastic. So, you can join us this afternoon. We're meeting at the cafe at 12 and then there's a movie. Great, I'll be there. Cool. Hey, some of the guys are here and I want to come and join us. Sorry, I can't. I have to bring the shopping home. Uh, okay. See you there. See you. Nice to have you back in Hamburg. Nice to be back. 15 minutes. Come on, Emma. Pedal. like I've never even been away. He responds to everything perfectly. Good. Don't push him too hard, though. That foreleg's still a bit tender. Nah. He's all right, aren't you, boy? All right. You better stable him now. Dinner will be soon. Huh? Oh, no. All right, boy. Come on. It's your bedtime. Here's the shopping, Dad. No change? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I'll put the groceries away in a minute. I just had to make a phone call. Is this a one-minute minute or half an hour minute? I won't be long, Dad. Promise. Day 
Bruno, can you do me a massive favour? What sort of favour? I desperately need to make a call. Can you stable Pedro for me, please? What do I get in return? Isn't having your big sister home a reward enough? Kidding. Killjoy. All right, what do you want? I'll have to think about it. Now, while you think about it, can you please stable Pedro for me? I'll let you know tomorrow. Whatever. I've got you clearly. Can you see me? Perfectly. It's like you're in the next room. Working okay? Who's that? Is that Josh? Who else? Hey, Emma. Is that your room? Yeah, take a look. Hey, nice. Just like I imagined. You imagined my room? No. No way. I, I mean, I just wondered what a German room would look like. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Ali! Emma, is that you? Yes! I can see you really well! Me too. Hi, Ali. Jackie, I can hear you both fine, but I can't see anyone. Hey, Ali. Josh here. You see the USB stick? Yep. It's probably loose. Just push it in firmly. You should hear it click when it locks in place. Got you, Josh. Something's happening. Oh, I've got you. I can see everyone perfectly. Thanks a lot for this, Josh. No problem. I guess I'll leave you guys to it. You don't have to go if you don't want to. Yes, he does. This is girl talk time, right, Josh? Way too serious for me. I've got a game anyway. Don't forget to enter the pin numbers with your handphones. That'll make sure the chat room and your phones are locked together. Will do. Bye, Josh. See ya, Josh. Have fun. Right. You guys remember your codes? Four, three, eight, two. Yeah, Ali? Four, three, eight, four. No, I'm four, three, eight, four. You're four, three, eight, three. Oh, right. I'll do it again. Ow! What? What's happening? Stupid phone. Hang on a minute. Ali, are you still there? Yeah. Something weird's happening. Some kind of power surge. It's happening here too. There's sparks all around the UC thing. Maybe we've overloaded everything. Do you think we should log off? Just a minute. I'll run down and get Josh. He should be able to... Ah! A Jackie? Jackie, what happened? I can't see you anymore. Quick, Emma, log off. We'll call each other in our house phone. Ah! Ali? Jackie? Somebody say something! Ah! Hello? Hello, is there anybody there? Somebody speak to me! Anybody! Please? <laughs> Ali? Jackie! What are we... I, I mean, where are we? Jackie? Ali! What happened? I don't know. I think we're in some kind of void. How do we get here? When we keyed in our numbers, all this electricity started flying around my room. There was this huge flash. Same. The next thing I knew, I was here. But where is this place? What is it? I think I know. The electricity, it hit all three of us at the same time, right? So? So it's obvious, isn't it? The shock must have killed us. We've died and come to heaven. What? what? Well, it's the only explanation, isn't it? it? Doesn't look much like heaven to me. How do you know? Have you ever been there? No, but if this is heaven, how come we're the only people here? Thousands of people die every minute. This place should be teeming with them. Maybe it's like a waiting room. Like they have in hospitals. They put us together because we're friends. Yeah, and any moment, some guy in a lab coat with a clipboard's gonna come and call our names. Then, we'll have like this medical examination to see if we're fit enough to be probably dead. Okay, so it sounds crazy. But do you have another explanation? Someone's coming. I hope they come soon. This place is seriously creepy. There's a simple, logical explanation for this. There has to be. What's that? I don't know. What I do know is... What? What do you know? Look in your hands. 
Since when do they use handphones in heaven? Then if this is in heaven, where on earth are we? That's just it. We're not on earth. We're in space. Cyberspace! Jackie! That's even crazier than thinking we're in heaven. No, think about it. Somehow, don't ask me how, when the three of us keyed in our numbers, it caused the USB sticks to generate so much energy that the virtual chat room became a real chat room. Uh, and it sucked us in. Exactly! <laughs> this is nuts! It's physically impossible to exist in cyberspace. You think? Well, let's test it out. How? Make a call. What? Cyberspace is a place where signals from phones and computers buzz around. If that's really where we are, then you should be able to get through. It's worth a try. What? It's ringing! Schubert? Dad? Dad, is that really you? Yes. Why? Were you hoping for another father? No. No way. I, I just didn't recognize your voice. Must be the line we're on. I thought you were going to put the shopping away. Yes. Actually, that's why I'm calling. Um, I had to leave the house for a few minutes, but I'll put it away as soon as I, I come home. Promise. Don't worry about it. I was about to start working in the kitchen anyway. Take as long as you need. Thanks, Dad. Tschüss. Why didn't you tell him where we are? What could I have said? That I've been sucked into my computer and I'm with my friends in cyberspace? Well, it's the truth, isn't it? It would have freaked him out. And besides, what can he do? I agree. There's no point in scaring anyone. Not yet, anyway. But at least we know where we are, right? We've made history. The first people to ever actually physically inhabit our very own cyberspace chat room. Yeah, cool, Jackie, but how are you forgetting just one small thing? Like? Like, how do we get back home? We could be stuck in this place forever. You know how Josh is into all this high-tech stuff? Well, he's found this program that can let us have our very own chat room. Everything we need is on these USB sticks. Once we've set it up, the only way into the chat room is by using our handphones. I've texted you both a four-digit code. All you have to do is punch it in whenever you want to go in the chat room. Ow! What? What's happening? Some kind of power surge. I'll run down and get Josh. He should be able to... Ah! Quick, Emma, log off. We'll call each other in our house. Ah! Where on Earth are we? We're not on Earth. We're in space. Cyberspace. We've made history. Yeah, cool, Jackie, but how do we get back home? We could be stuck in this place forever. And your friends, you are friends always, friends till the end of time. And your friends never bend or pretend, they just make you shine. Stay with them, make every day with them count for you. They you prove they will always do the to you. Jackie, stay calm. Breathe deeply. I am breathing deeply. I'm breathing so deeply, I'm hyperventilating. OK, but whatever we do, we can't panic. Why not? We're stuck in cyberspace with no way to get home. That sounds like a really good reason to panic to me. Maybe there's a door. A door? What? A door. You know, like knock knock. In cyberspace? How do you know there's no door? Have you ever been to cyberspace before? Ali, look around. What do you see? Nothing. No walls, no doors. No walls, no doors. Then how do we get out? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Jürgen's Kitchen, east meets west. Take one. We are now back from Singapore, and my latest recipe is a fusion of east meets west. An Asian take on a traditional German favorite. The. Bratwurst. Damn Cut. Uh, Hello? Delivery for Schubert. Boxes from Singapore. Uh, oh, yes, uh, I'm coming. 
name is Mr. Schubert. Well, oh, hi, Nicholas. Is Emma around? One moment. Um, up the stairs into the hall and, and watch the dog. Uh, she's out somewhere. Ah, okay. I'll give her a call. Okay, let's focus. What's the one thing we know? Uh, that we're stuck here with no way out? No, the other thing we know. We know we can call out. Yes, that's it, we can call for help. Call who? I don't know, emergency services, the police. And what do we say? Hello, we're chatting in cyberspace. Send virtual help? Well, at least I had an idea. It's not my fault if it's not perfect. Well? What? Answer it! Hello? Yeah, hi, it's me. Where are you? Nicholas! Yeah, I'm at your place now. Well, how long are you going to be? How long? Uh, not long. Um, I hope. Okay, great. And yeah, the movie starts one hour, remember? I'll wait here for you. Yeah, sure. Uh, see you soon. See you soon? What else was I supposed to say? Wait a minute. Our phone's got us here, right? Yeah. So, maybe if we try the code again. 4384. <laughs> now what? Backwards. What? What if we try the code backwards to get out? <laughs> Anything's worth a try. Right, so. 4384 backwards. No, I'm 4384. You're 4383. Sorry. So backwards, that's 3834. Here goes. away for a year. You don't have to shout the house down. I'm just so glad to be here and see you. Here, yeah, right. Ali? It worked. Awesome. Okay, Jackie, let's do it. Wait. What for? What if it doesn't work? What if we get stuck somewhere, somewhere that's not here and not home? Then what happens? It worked for Ali. That doesn't mean it will work for us. Jackie, come on, there's nothing to be worried about. You don't know that. What if you just got lucky? It's our only choice. What else can we do? Where do these go? Huh? Uh, Emma's room, please. All right, I'll go first. 4382 backwards is... Two, eight, three, four. Emma, no! What, Ellie? What's wrong? There's a boy in your room. A boy? Yeah, you know, two arms, two legs, boy. Oh, it must be Nicholas. What's he doing? He was carrying a box or something. W what kind of box? Well, it's a little hard to tell from under the desk. What? If I could see him, he can see me, remember? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. It's all clear, go. Now. Wish me luck. I can't believe we had all this in Singapore. Only a few more boxes to go. Hmm. That's weird. Huh? N nothing. Come on, let's get the last of them. You made it. Shh, keep it down. Has anyone seen the box with my walk? What's going on? It's up from Singapore. I need my walk. Kitchen? What? Nothing. Listen, you call Jackie. Tell her I'm home safe, all right? I'll be back in a minute. I think this is what you're looking for. Emma? Lost. Why walking streets? Thanks. Oh, where did you come from? Um, I just got back. You and Dad were such a good team. I didn't want to disturb you. Mm. 
Emma's back safe and sound. Are you sure? I saw her arrive. I talked to her. Come on, it's your turn. But no buts. I'm back, Emma's back. We proved it works. Okay, okay. Wish me luck. Go, girl. This is the last time I ever let Josh give me anything for free. <laughs> Tell me it's not a dream. Say I'm really home. You're home and looking good. That's everything. The good thing, too, we need a bigger house. Thanks for your help. Come on, let's go. Uh, go? Where? The movie, the lunch. What? We'd better get moving. We want to get good seats. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Nicholas, but I can't. What? I'm not feeling too well. But an hour ago, you were fine. Yeah, it's this nasty tummy thing. I'd really love to go, but I'd hate to throw up in the middle of the show. OK, if you're sure. Yeah, really. Sorry. Bye. I've got to pinch myself. Did that actually just happen? It happened all right. But it doesn't make sense. Cyberspace isn't a physical space. Well, how do you explain what just happened? That's just it. She can't. None of us can. So, what do we do next? The first thing I do is find out more about this software Josh gave us. It works. What else do you need to know? Where he got it, for a start. Don't anyone do anything till I've talked to him, right? So, what do we do in the meantime? Nothing. Just act like everything's normal. <laughs> Morning, Mum. Morning, Dad. Morning. Where's Josh? Football practice, like every Saturday. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're quite forgetful these days, Jackie. Like how? Like you forgot to help out with Grandma at the shop yesterday night? No, she called and said she didn't need me. Business was slow. It's true, she did. What about your dancing partners? Uh, Ali and Emma. Oh, very nice girls. Always so polite and very helpful. And a distraction. No, that's not true. They're both really good students. They always help me with my homework. You shouldn't need help with your homework. You should be able to do it yourself. Of course I do it myself. But sometimes we need to discuss problems or do group assignments. They're both really good at that. And they've gone back home now, right? That's right. To Australia and Germany. Nice to hear that. So no more excuses. No more distractions. Please don't forget. This is a very important year for you. I know. Your mother and I, we made a lot of sacrifices for your education. I know that, Dad. You're a bright girl, Jackie. You can be anything you want. It's just that education is key. That's right. Do well in school, do well in life. That's all we ask for. And I promise to do that. You know I do. We know that. It's just that sometimes we need to hear it from you. OK, Dad. I am have to go. Lots to do today. What you gonna do? What Bye. you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. Hey, really? Remember me? Yeah, of course you do. App still like carrots? <laughs> hey. What? You're not allowed down here. Staff only. Staff? Dan, there you are. Morning, Ali. Ali. Oh, your daughter. That's right. Just back from Singapore. Ali, this is Dan. He's been helping us out for a couple of months. Really? Looks like he's doing a great job. Listen, we better get a move on. That writing class will be here in a minute or two. We'll see you later. Sorry, I thought you were the writing class. Oh, next time I'll wear a giant sign saying, I live here. Yeah, right. but the job's all yours. Oh, come on. You owe me a favour, remember? Come on, a deal's a deal. Fine. But you get to hold the bag. I'll shovel. Hey, so, uh, who's this Dan guy? His parents bought the Kelso farm next door, just after you left for Singapore. Right. 
Yeah, he's the best. He's been helping out with the riding classes and stuff. Really? Yeah, he's an awesome rider. He's a big help to Dad, too. Oh, now that I'm back, maybe I can start taking the riding classes again. Nah, Dan's the man, I reckon. Dad says he wouldn't know what to do without him. Hey, careful. I nearly got my shoe. Sorry, I was aiming for your head. Whoop. What are you doing here? Since when are you into soccer? I was just passing on my way back from Grandma's. Hmm, right. So, I've been mean to ask. That chat room software you gave us. What about it? Nothing really. I was just wondering where you got it. Some P2P network. Oh, can't remember which. Isn't that illegal, like pirating music? No, I, it's cool. As long as the person who wrote the program wants to share it. Oh, you know who wrote it? No. But didn't you scan it for viruses and stuff? Of course I did. What's up? Is it not working properly? Do you want me to reinstall it? No, it's fine. I was just wondering. Thanks anyway. So, that was really a great shot of yours back there. <laughs> Thanks. According to Josh, it's just normal software. He even tried it on his computer first. So, what happened when we used it? I think I know. Look at those USB sticks he gave us. Mine's fused to the computer. Mine too. I think that when the power surge fused the drives, it created this freak, one in a gazillion event. Computer voodoo. Voodoo? Uh, when stuff happens and you have no idea why. The question is, is it safe to try it again? We've got to. Absolutely, I'm with Emma. Take it easy. We don't know what we're dealing with here. Uh, but it worked fine last time. That was last time. There's no scientific evidence to prove we can control it. Forget science. Don't you see what this means? Now we can meet up whenever we want. Yeah, like, right now. Ali, Emma! You stay here, Jackie. That way, if something goes wrong, you can get help. Help from where? <sighs> yes! Yes, it worked again! Double check. Two arms, two legs, one head. Yep, all here. <laughs> We're here. It's all good. Hurry up, Jackie. We're waiting for you. I don't know. Please, Jackie. I just... It's too dangerous. We don't know what we're dealing... Hey! What's the idea? I just had a brainwave. What if we keep Jackie's code into our phones? Maybe that'll bring her here. Do you think so? It's worth a try. So, 4383. Three. <laughs> Ali, that's your code. Hers is 4384. Four. Got it. 4384. Four. Ready? No good. What if we try Jackie's code backwards? Why not? <laughs> four, eight, three, four. Ali? Emma? Jackie! Uh, where are we? In my bedroom? In Singapore. What did you do? Oh, well, we just keyed in your code backwards and that brought us here. That's unbelievable. Do you realise what that means? Well, if it works for Jackie's place, then it'll work for your place and my place too. Oh, we can travel around the world. We can be like jet setters without the jet. It's amazing. It's incredible. Jackie? It's Josh. Quick, hide. Where? Anyway, come on. It's on to you. Okay, but make it quick. I'm very busy now. What's up? I, I thought I heard voices. Voices? Oh. I was just talking to Ali and Emma. Oh, right, on your phone. Right, so how is Emma? Same as she was the last time you spoke to her, yesterday afternoon. Yeah, right. So let's have a look at this software. What? what? No, I told you already, it's fine. Are you sure? I can tweak the settings if the images aren't clear. No, they're perfect. You don't need to tweak a thing. If you say so. 
Well, one thing I forgot to mention about the software. What about it? The version I downloaded is a beta version. Like, a trial version. It's only got a six-month license. Which means... After that, it won't work. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think you have, like, dust mites in there. Oh. Did I hear Josh right about the beta version? The software has a time limit. That's so unfair. The best present we've ever had, and we've only got six months to use it. Well, let's make the best of it. Yeah, you're right. Hey, who wants to come feed the horses with me? What horses? The ones back in Australia, of course. <laughs> let's go. Wait, let's think about this. Is this really such a good idea? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we all key in Ali's code backwards. Three, eight, three, four. You remembered. Jackie, you sure you're cool? No, but I'm not backing out now. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. Oh, yes. You can open your eyes now. They are open and open wider. Fantastic! <laughs> Come on, I'll show you around. So what do you guys think? It's awesome! It's even better than the photos! All right, so down there is the horse yard, and past the dam is the bush in the creek. I've never been on a farm before. It's so big. <laughs> it's only a few hectares. Only? Well, this is the outback, after all. Uh, more like the outer suburbs. <laughs> Go on, I'll show you the horses. Yeah, we can go horse riding. Horse riding? I'm a city girl, remember? The only riding I do is in a car. Ellie. Mum, I wonder where you'd gotten to. I don't think I met your friends. No. <laughs> Willie, you gonna introduce me? What? Oh, y yeah, sure. This is Jackie and Emma. Hi. Hello. Jackie and Emma? Yeah. Why? Oh, what a coincidence. D did you tell the girls that you had friends in Singapore with the same names? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how weird is that, oh, huh? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, we better be going. <laughs> Plenty to see. OK. Well, it was nice to meet you. See you again. Hey, Na. Close shave. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, that's heat. You don't want to overfeed him. You're so lucky to live here. You can go riding every day. <laughs> After I'm work. I never knew horses were so big. Well, now you can come here anytime you like. That's right, she can. I mean, we both can. We can go to Singapore, Australia, Germany, anytime we want. I can hardly wait to go to Germany. Me too, this is so awesome. Oh, that's funny. I seem to recall someone who wasn't so keen on that chat room. I have no idea who you mean. Oh, your mother said we'd find you down here. Hello, I'm Ben, Ali's dad. Emma, Jackie. Dan, good day. I was just saying it's getting a bit late to go riding, so the girls are going to head home. Oh, good. Well, we'll give you a lift. What? No, Dad, it's OK. Truly, we'll be fine. No problem. I've got some gear to drop off with Dan's dad, so we'll grab the ute and meet you around the front. Hurry, my room. Oh, Riding lessons, of course. What, what would you like to know? What do we do now? Oh, no, it's your dad. Yeah, of course I can put you on the mailing list. I'll, I'll just get a pen. Sorry, just bear with me while I find one. Oh, go to my room. I'll take care of dad. When oh, let's go. Then it's no sin. Remember your code? Of course. Then let's do it. Go. I'm not sure I can handle all this excitement. Well, you better get used to it. <laughs> home? Yeah, home. It's been a big day. All set. Where are the girls? They've gone. Gone? They said to say thanks, uh, but they need to get home as quickly as possible. But how can they get home quicker than in a car? They know a shortcut. Yeah. 
You made it home safe? We're safe! I still can't believe it. This is the most awesome thing ever. But it's only going to be awesome for the next six months. And the question is, what do we do with it? We watch Emma for a start. She'll use any chance she gets to try and see Josh. <laughs> oh, what about Josh? Do we tell him? No way, Emma! Why not? Because I know my brother. In five minutes, the whole world will know. And then what? Yeah, and if my parents found out, they would totally freak. Mine too. There's no way they'd let me use it again. And there's only one choice. Not a word to anyone about the chat room. Our lips are sealed. Deal? Double, Double deal. <laughs>
can't believe it. This is amazing. Where's Ellie? I don't know. I tried to call her, but she's not in her room. Can we wait for her? I can't. We're so late already. But when she gets here, she won't know where we are. I know, but if we're late already, a couple more minutes, no problem, right? <sighs> Nicholas is gonna kill me. Come on, Ali. You promised you'd be on time. I think I'm gonna call it a night. It's not even eight o'clock. Yeah, well, I need my beauty sleep. Get right there. Uh, what about dinner? Uh, I'm not hungry. You're always hungry. Well, not tonight. Sorry, Mum, but I'm really tired. Ali, this isn't about Dan, is it? Dan? Well, I don't want you to think he's taking your place around the farm. No, of course not. It's just that we really needed an extra hand while you're away. You know, Dan loves horses as much as you do. Yeah, I see that. Just try and get to know him a little bit. I'm sure the two of you will really get on when you know each other. Yeah. Sure. No problem. Good night. Night. About time. Where have you been? Don't ask that. Just get here now. Uh, do I have time to change? This room is so you. Later, Ali, we've got to go. Ugh, what have you stepped in? Well, these are my work boots. I didn't get time to change, remember? Yeah, put these on. They'll look better. And smell better. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to Hamburg. Oh, this is so cool. Do we have far to go? About 15 minutes. Is there a subway? No subway. Ta-da! I just told you, this is Germany. Things are different here. What happened? Uh, she's sorry, she's like, it's all Jackie's fault. Me? These are my friends, Ali and Jackie. <laughs> We'd better get warmed up. We're almost done. Right, break a leg. <laughs> Have I met Ali before? She was waving to me like she knew me. Oh, uh, she's Australian. My friends are her friends, you know. Right. We're on next. The choreographer will give us some basic moves and then we improvise on that. And then it's all down to the judges. If the audience go wild, that helps. <laughs> Remember that girl? Yeah, she used to teach improv classes at the dance studio. Yeah, that's her. Looks like fun, doesn't it? Well, grab a number, anyone can enter. No way, I'm hopeless at this improv stuff. What are you talking about? You're always coming up with new moves. Not in front of dozens of strangers. It'll be fine. Forget it, Ali. No way. Chicken. <laughs>
looks like they're changing choreographers. Whoa, look at those moves. You can handle that. I'm not so sure. Stop being so modest. You take it. What? You're heaps better at this style. No way. Nicholas needs a partner who knows what she's doing. Not in front of all these people. Please. Mind my bag. Said, please don't let me make a fool of myself in front of everyone. Wow, you're good. Is it okay? Yes, but she thinks I'm better at this style than she is. And you don't mind? No, but she's going to owe me for the rest of her life. Thanks. Okay, Jackie. here, remember? What if he starts asking questions? You're right, quickly. Some of those moves you did, you have to teach me. It was nothing. No, it was fantastic. <laughs> We're meeting up after school tomorrow. Me, Emma and a few friends. Want to come? Yeah, that'd be great. Um, but I can't. Okay, and what about the day after? I can't then either. So when are you free? I'm busy for a while. I've got exams. Ah, right, I see. What school do you go to? Uh, international? Don't know that one. Is it far from here? It is a bit. Maybe some other time, after your exams. We can hang out, do some dance class together. Hey, you guys! We thought we lost you for a moment. We better get back, check out your competition. Maybe we should team up again. Oh, sh they're announcing the results. I guess you all agree we've seen some awesome dancing today. So, in first place, we got team number 13. In second place, team number 11. And third place goes to team six. Team six? Team six? We should get a photo. My camera phone's in my bag. Where is your bag? I don't know. I gave it to you. Ali? I don't have it. I asked you to mind it when I got up to dance. My phone's in my bag. I can't go home without my phone. Stay cool. It must be back where we're standing. Quick, we have to find it. <sighs> we were standing right here. I can't believe you just left it here. It's a bright purple bag. It has to be here somewhere. Maybe someone picked it up. There! Where? That's 
girl, Jackie's back. She's running away with it. Hey, you! Wait! Uh, quick, the bikes! Hurry, she's getting away. I am hurrying. Where did she go? Down that way, but I can't see her anymore. I think we've lost her. I know where that road goes. We can take a shortcut. You have to find Maybe we should just call the police and say what? Oh, my friend's had her phone stolen and now she can't get back to Singapore? They'll just ask questions that we can't answer. We have to get her back, otherwise we're all history. You have to find another brain to show the world it's your domain. You've got to stake your claim. Are you crazy? Excuse me, I think that's my bag. It's mine. Oh, yeah? Well, where did you get it? Hey! <clears throat> you know, it's really low taking someone else's bag. Huh? What's this? I just bought it for my little sister. It's her birthday present. This isn't mine. None of this is mine. You're right. This isn't my bag. How do you believe me? We are so, so sorry. Yeah, you should be. What are we going to do now? I knew something bad would happen. I should never have come here. This whole chat room thing is too good to be true. Hey, don't cave in yet. We'll think of something. I just can't think of what that is. Maybe I could take you back with my phone? And what if you lose me somewhere in cyberspace? Well, the worst that'd happen is you'd end up in Australia. And then what do I tell my parents? We could buy a plane ticket. I've got a savings account. How am I supposed to travel? I don't even have a passport. Then all we can do is go back to the square. Maybe someone handed it in. I suppose so. Why couldn't you two have just taken care of it properly? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But hey, don't get too down about it. Why not? I've lost my phone and I'm stranded thousands of miles away from home with no way of getting back. Since you put it like that... We're on our way back. Who was that? Nicholas. He's got the bag. What? Yeah, someone handed it in at the drink stand. <laughs> Sometimes there's things you can't explain. You have to find another frame to show the world it's your domain. You got hey, to take Jackie! Your Nicholas! Looks like we've got a happy ending after all. And looks like Jackie's very happy to see Nicholas. And he doesn't look too unhappy to see her either. I searched everywhere. I'd almost give it up. Oh, look out! Please tell me that didn't just happen. Oh, no, your phone! It's okay, I'll get it. I'm sorry. Thanks. I hope there's nothing too valuable inside. Only my life. This is definitely not good. Ah, it's soaked! Stop! Don't try to switch it on. Why not? It has to be completely dry first. If it's still wet, it could fry the whole phone. That's just what we don't need. But if you dry it carefully, it might be okay tomorrow. Tomorrow? I have to go home tonight. Then you can borrow my phone if you have to call someone. I can't go home without my phone. Uh, uh Jackie has really strict parents. Uh, but it's okay, because we'll figure it out, won't we, Emma? Yeah, I have a head right home. It's perfect for phone drying. Okay, Jackie, let's go to Emma's. Okay, I'll come with you. Thanks, we'll be fine. Yeah, Jackie needs some girl time. Girl time? Yeah, it's hard for a boy to understand. I don't even understand it myself. <laughs> Nicholas is going to think I'm a spoiled brat who can't live without her phone for a day. Well, you can't, can you? 
Very funny. Look on the right side. If the phone really is dead, you have a lot more time to spend with Nicholas. Oh. Hi, Strudel. Oh. It's right. Mum and Dad are still out. And they've left some dinner in the fridge. Unless something may I'm starving. Forget food. We have to get my phone working. Come on. Maybe just a little bite. Ali. What do you think? Mm. Looks pretty dry. Should we try to switch it on? No, wait. Remember what Nicholas said. It has to be totally dry or we could zap the whole phone. All right, then we'll wait till tomorrow. It'll be totally dry by then. I can't wait that long. I have music lessons before school. Mum will be coming in to wake me up in no time. And you've got no choice. You either try the phone or we see if you can hitch a ride with me. But we don't even know if that'll work. It's worth a try. You hang on to me and we can, like, beam together. Ali, we don't beam. Whatever we do. What do you think, Jackie? It's your call. Just hold on tight. I don't want to be dropped somewhere in cyberspace. Trust me. Mm. Um, Jackie, I still need to be able to breathe, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Wish us luck. We're done here from you in 10 minutes. I'm gonna come looking. Here goes nothing. <laughs> What do you know? It worked. Now you can tell me how clever I am. You're clever. Now to Singapore. Stop! Do you remember the right code? Relax, I put all the codes on speed dial just like you suggested. Happy? Delirious. I'm here, I made it. How great is that? We can take passengers. I just hope Ali's okay. She had to go straight to the stables to work with Dan. Don't worry about Ali. She'll be fine. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out last night. I owe you one. It's okay. How's the party? Yeah, great. Is that the new fashion for stable hands? Just don't ask. Just hope they appreciate your sense of fashion. He's a friend of Ella's. Oh, like boyfriend? No, more like a brother. Really? Cool. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm just really grateful for the present you gave us. Right, one, two, three, four, step, pivot, 
arms behind. Two, two, three, four. Step, pivot, arms to the front. Okay, your turn. And five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Arms to the back the first time, Jackie. Five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Do you want me to draw a picture of it for you? <laughs> okay, I'll show you from the top and then we'll all do it together. So sad your friends have deserted you. I guess that means you won't be entering the National Dance Championships. Shame. You three were always so good for a laugh. <laughs> and Chelsea, she's like... Mm -hmm. And Carla and Sophia are like... <laughs> and it just makes me want to... Jackie... You're starting to freak me out. Yeah, did someone put something weird on your cereal this morning? What do you mean? I know, it's just... This competition is the most important one, you know? Yeah, and the winners get to compete in France. At the internationals. And the idea of Chelsea winning and strutting around like... All right, all right. Leave the napkin alone. We never did anything to you. Let Chelsea have the competition, Jack. We've got the chat room. You're right. Chelsea's not at the beach in Australia. Right again. We're the two best friends. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I love it when she talks like that. <laughs> mm. And you've got about seven minutes to get home before your dad does. Oh no, I'll never make it. Not if you sit here any longer, you won't. <laughs> You need to talk. Yes, Dad? You wanted to see me? Ah, oh, sit, sit. Your mother and I have been discussing and we feel it's time for you to start concentrating on things that are important. And as enjoyable as dance classes may be to you, we feel that it's a distraction. But, Dad... It's not up for debate, Jackie. doesn't dress. Well, if I had known we were having strangers over for breakfast, I would have gotten dressed. Take no notice, Dan. She's always been a bit of a grump in the morning. Oh. <laughs> Hi, it's me. Meet me in the chat room. It's an emergency. Hey, where's Jackie? Not here yet. Am I a grump in the mornings? What? Hey, what's up? My parents have decided dance classes are over. What? They say it was all right when I was little. It was teaching me to be graceful and kept me fit. And now they want me to get serious. But you are serious about dancing. At the moment, all they care about is me getting 100% on every exam I take. Not dancing. I can't even imagine it. It's like, it'd be like if, don't worry, Jackie, we'll think of something. Give me a second, would you? Dad? Mm -hmm. Do you care what I do when I leave school? I care that whatever you do makes you happy. Oh, so not fair, huh? I can pretend I want you to be a doctor if that'll help. Yeah, Jackie's. I've had a brilliant idea. How often do we use to rehearse when we all lived here? Once, twice a week. Mostly twice. Correct. Five points to Jackie. And how often will we have to rehearse if we enter the national dance competition? But we can't just answer the question. Three times. Four. Correct again, Jackie. Hello, aren't you getting this? Are you getting it? I'm not getting it. <laughs> We can still meet four times a week to rehearse. Yeah, but how does that change anything for Jackie? Because when we win the Nationals, Jackie's dad is going to see her given the prize by the Prime Minister. And he'll see that her 100% report card didn't suffer. And he'll see that you can study and dance. Brilliant. Oh, it took you long enough. <laughs> but that all depends on us actually winning the competition. Yep. 
And if we don't start rehearsing right away, there'll be no chance of that. So, on your feet. What? We can't rehearse in here. We'll get black eyes. Where then? The back tennis court. It's really out of the way and nobody ever goes there on weekdays. It'll be perfect. Inside, outside, round and round. Now let's hear you shout it out. Yeah! Come on, let's go, take a chance. Don't be so shy, it's not worth a second glance. Just get out. keep churning out the same moves. If we want to win the Nationals, we have to do something different. What if we do the second lot of four and finish with this stuff? Uh, it's still the same moves. Hide! What? It's Josh, he'll see you. Hurry! Oh. Where? Yeah. There, quick! Yeah, that's what you need to do. OK, yeah. yeah. Uh, here we go. Here we go what? Here we go with the sun, the smile, the fluttering. <laughs> Okay, uh, see you then. Bye. Jackie? What are you doing? Taking the practice nets to be repaired. What are you doing? Just, uh, hanging out. You need to get some new friends, Jackie. That was close. So much for no one coming here on weekdays. Sorry. Guess we'll have to find somewhere else to practice. Even if we do, it doesn't solve our real problem. What's our real problem? We can't do this without a choreographer. We need Michelle. We can't afford Michelle. Maybe she'll do it cheap for us. You know, like mates rates. How are we going to explain to her why you're both suddenly back in Singapore? Leave that to me. I'll think of something on the way. Come on. <laughs> Have you thought of anything yet? I'm thinking. Well, you better think quick because there she is. What's Michelle doing with Chelsea? And who's the guy? It's Chelsea's dad. What are you doing? Just taking a look. So. What exactly are we looking at? I'm not sure yet, but I tend to find out. Hi, Michelle. It's Emma. Yeah, I'm back. There's been a bit of a change in plans, and I was just wondering if we could meet up somewhere. Oh, OK. What about half an hour at the Raffle statue? Great. See ya. You are outrageous. <laughs> and you're just too kind, really. <laughs> you're back too, Ali? Like she said, change your plans. <sighs> All right, what's going on, girls? The thing is, we want to enter the Nationals, but we need a choreographer. We need you. You're the only person we want, Michelle. Look, I'd love to say yes. And I think you're all really talented. But if I'm going to train anyone... What? Well, they have to be committed 100%. And you don't think we are? Well, I'm not saying you couldn't be. What can we do to prove we're serious? This is a great routine from Europe. I was going to test it out in the class next week. If you can learn it in three days, then maybe we've got something to talk about. Get serious. It's seriously organized. What's this? It's a chat. 
three countries, three time zones. I got sick of counting out what time it was in Germany and Australia, so I made us all one. Oh, isn't she thoughtful? And if you can bear to look at it for a second, it's not often we can all get away at the same time, especially in the next three days. So I guess we better make what time we do have count. And then there's the problem of where to rehearse. What about my school gym? It's free every afternoon till six. Done. <laughs> We need some kind of incoming signal or I'm going to end up in hospital. Where's Emma? Don't know, I just got here. Hmm. Oh, it's from Emma. I've been held up at school. Take the bus from out the front, get off at the fourth stop and you'll see the school on the right. Again, the bus. Snow, snow. What does that mean? I don't know if it means stop or run. Guess it means we run either way. every time we hit the chorus. And I don't even know what beat you're listening to. Just plain old beat, as in I'm beat, I'm tired, I'm cooked. <sighs> Sorry. It's just that by my body clock, it's actually four o'clock in the morning. And it wasn't exactly Bree's getting here. She's right. We had to make it into your room. Without being seen. And get out of your house. Without being seen. Catch a bus. Or run when we miss the bus. Then mm. dance for two hours and go through the whole process again. You just have to stay back late after school. talking about no travel no chance of being busted by any of our parents and no excuses for not giving this thing everything we've got come on you could at least pretend to be impressed I got on the net today because it was bugging me seeing Chelsea and Michelle and that warehouse we saw them at it's for lease it says perfect for dance studio you mean Chelsea's dad is offering Michelle the warehouse space as a bride I don't know for sure but it seems to add up that girl is a snake Anyway, I'm not sure how much point there is in perfecting this routine for Michelle. What do you mean? Her own dance studio? How do we compete with that? The only way we can. By proving to Michelle that we've got what it takes. Will that be enough? It's going to have to be. Because if Michelle chooses Chelsea's group over us, then I want us to know in our hearts that it wasn't because we couldn't cut it. Have I mentioned how much I like you? 
How you it's rude to sneak up on people. You left your phone outside. You got a message. Oh, thanks. Was there something else? You're good. The dancing. Thanks for the phone. <laughs> okay. Hey, you guys. Just wanted to say thanks for everything. Big day tomorrow, and whatever happens. I think we're amazing. I'm off to work now. You need a lift to the library, Jackie? Oh, no, it's okay. I'll be fine. I hope you're working hard. I'm working harder than you believe, Dad. Good. Okay. Good. See you tonight. Today, Dad. Oh, don't make it too late. Mom's coming back from a trip tonight and I'm making something very special. <laughs> I'll do my best. Bye, Dad. Bye, Em. Do you ever smile? Just wondered. Maybe you're not just grumpy in the mornings. Maybe you're an afternoon grump too. I'm so happy I could pop. As a matter of fact, I couldn't be happier if I tried. Not that it's any of your business. Oh, oh. Don't, don't move it. I'm fine, all right? You don't sound all right. So I don't on. need any help. I've done enough already. Oh, such an idiot. Such an idiot. Ready as I'll ever be. up for you, Jackie. I'm so sorry. Look, I know this was meant to be a group effort, but if there's any way that you could just ignore the fact that I was even there and just look at what these two can do. Really, you have no idea how much this means to Jackie. I'll be back in a second. Hi. What happened? 
happened? You don't want to know. Oh, actually, we do. Dan was giving me a hard time, and I wanted to get out of there, so I jumped a fence I shouldn't have. And because I was being such an idiot, I've ruined this whole thing for you. I have to sort something out. Meet me at the raffle statue in half an hour. I'm so sorry, Jackie. I think you mentioned that already, Al. It's okay. If I'm meant to be a dancer, then I don't know. Somehow it will happen. And if I'm not... What I don't understand is, why didn't you just tell us what happened? Why pretend you're all right? I don't know. It just felt like such a stupid reason. I mean, it would have been different if I was trying to pull a horse out of a dam or something. But you were trying to run away from a boy you like. I was trying to run away from a boy who drives me mental. Same, same. So we didn't cut it. My old dance teacher used to talk about there being one special thing that separated good dancers from great dancers. Yeah, we know. It starts with a cut and ends in a mitman. Can I finish? Yeah, you're kind of right, but when you're dancing as a group, it's commitment to each other. I know, and that's what I meant. I just want you to look at these two. Forget I was even there. Can't you just stop talking for one second? What I was trying to say was, you would push yourself so hard for them, even though you were in pain. And they would have done it for you, too. That's the kind of commitment you can't buy. That's what my teacher was talking about. <laughs> Sorry. Could you just spell that out for me in case I've got it wrong? Are you saying you'll be our choreographer? I will be your choreographer. Yeah!